versus Cloud9 if we see so <laughs> many members that used to be on the team. Bottom side, well, uh, Sven is one of them. Vulcan trying to get ahead of the game so he can devour and spit out Sven. It's all for the AD. Can Sven stay alive here? A few more shots coming through. That's going to be Golden Glue on the teleport. Picking up first blood. Down on the easy chase down for Sven. They're back out. Ooh, Laver almost getting caught here. Sven Skarin over the wall with some true grit as Niski dodges out on the shockwave. He'll throw back with gold card and cloud nine. Yeah, keep playing off bottom side. They get a huge health chunk on the Blabber. He does heal a lot of it back up off of the Raptor camp, and Zazel gets caught. Trying to go for a bit of ward clearing. It's a dangerous job for a support. And yeah, and you can see Sven Skarin in the jungle as well, just finishing up on the blue buff and can play around the dragon again. Labber waiting, trying to hover, because they know that there's a very possible uh, Stan United aggressive practice Shen play coming in. The level sixes for bottom lane are very big too, though. Since Bang and Zazel haven't gotten theirs, that's a lot of playmaking they don't have. Baits on baits. Uh, the dragon. Can Sven Skarin go for the steal? Stan United is ready, but so is Teleport for Licorice. It works good, too. Niski's already seven, so he puts on Destiny. He can see where everybody is, so this really stops EG from getting a flank on the fight. Got That's going to be Drake going over to Sven Skarin. The kill coming in onto him now is Niski. Starts to take one down in that retribution kill. Zazel trying to get back onto supports. Oh my god, Blabber goes all the way into the fight and flashes Golden Glue over the wall. Thought this one was going to start to fizzle out, but Cloud9 does not know the terminology. Huni almost going down. He gets himself safe. Blabber goes in again, and the safeguard gets him out before the turret can heat up. Halfway between mid and bottom side, trying to support down here. But if, if Sven is able to make use of these quick trades on Senna. Oh, there we go. Blabber in. Ooh, got out on the kick there. Actually, Fate's call as soon as he entered into the magical journey. A quick tap on the alt there from Bang, and they get kicked back. Zazel won't be able to participate in the fight as Blabber's trying to save the rest of the team. Bang forward with the Ren for a bit of the slow. I don't yeah. have a problem with the EG game plan. Uh, it has been the execution of these bottom side plays. And Cloud9, once again, putting the pressure on with Twisted Fate. Bottom side plays, Kobe. All right, on to Bang. And he said it's going to be tough for him that he's down in CS. Kalista now. on 98 CS at 14 minutes and no kills for himself either. So no gold there. Let's see if Niski gets his way out of this one. Don't think so. The trifecta coming in. Zazel says, thank you, kill. G has all of their teleports up. Maybe one will be up and they can't respond as accordingly. But as soon as they do okay. use those teleports, we okay. see Cloud9 go in. Now it's EG going in on Cloud9 again on the mid lane. It seems to be where they're able to get a little bit back, but not this time. Blabber fires through first. Try to do it. Nice high there by Vulcan as they spot him on a ward. EG still wants through. Licorice hanging out on top still. The teleport for him is down, so he's going to be hanging out there. Destiny comes into the mid lane as now EG gets pinched out of their own position. It looks like C9 will throw down Rift Herald here to start things off. Is Licorice still having a field day on top? Nice shockwave onto Blabber, so more of an initiation. A new challenger approaches. Coming in with a Spellbinder. Tides of Blood, Hemo Plague shots across. One more Q. It's not going to be enough. Last Sven could get a nice slow and root down there to start off the fight. Vulcan's looking to get that gray health used out here as he baits out more abilities of EG. And that's going to be the Drake going over to Blabber. EG wants the following fight. Blabber's kind of stuck in the pit, but they know Lee Sin's never stuck. He can just get out over the wall. Licorice left out to dry here as he was on the front of the fight thinking he'd do a bit more. But Huni is still able to take him. As this is going to be cool from the top laners if we do finally get a 5v5 and they're just forced to go after each other. C9 still trying to keep it split a bit. You see topside Niski, and that is EG taking advantage of the mid laner being away. Zazel picks up another kill at 3-0-2, and Evil Geniuses makes a quick snap judgment. Shockwave coming down as well, and they're fighting under the turrets of Cloud9 now. Like, no. you know, cards coming from Twisted Fate over the wall and a mismite, misrend combination. Gold card! Is it going to be enough, though? Nice fight on the back side. Uh, Licorice really throwing himself in there to the Wolves. And we'll see if they can take down Niski as well. Sven with a few shots over the wall. They know they don't need to push anymore. They have I mean, he definitely deserves a ton of credit. And uh, here we go. Twisted Fate Ultimate used to try and catch him. Bang. Saving him over the wall. They're going to throw him back in. No, gives Zazels to the back side of the fight. And now it's Licorice and Blabber caught a little bit. Niski, Sven, and Vulcan coming through the mid brush to try and save this fight. Zazel almost going down. That's the bounty going over to Sven, and that is big. As the marksman is going to pick up that big gold. Bang now jumping over the wall as he tries to get himself safe. The gold card's going to lock him in place as Sven and Huni try to clear up some wards. 
Do a little bit of damage control, because that was Baron stands once again here after EG has already taken it once. Vulcan getting tagged up by Bang for quite a while. He's going to be stuck, but the Grey Health could help him out. Niski's on stopwatch right now as he gets devoured up and saved. And now this looks like Huni could be on the back side of the fight, but he may be safe in that spot. Blaver going far in, and he's going to be able to take down Sven. It's a back and forth kill as Bang picks one up. But now they're trying to take down the Marksman. Stand United comes in, but it's not going to be enough. And Scene 9 continue to walk EG in and out of the jungle and take them down one by one. And he has almost Flame Horizon. Bang. Look at Licorice. He knows. He just swept this out, just got warded, but he's going to be going on to Bang now. They have Destiny up from Twisted Fate. Licorice chasing down now with Hemo Plague down. Easy kill on to Bang as he takes down the Marksman. That's quite a bit of DPS gone for C9. They are, or EG, and they're going to be scattered now. C9 now low health bars as they go towards the bot side. Niski not able to do too much in that fight, and the health bars of EG able to withstand everything that C9's throwing at him now. Licorice still on the back, has a chance to heal up. Crimson Rush gives him a good hit there from Scuttle Crab, and it could be enough to help turn the back side of the fight. Shield about to wear off on a Golden Glue, but it's not going to be enough. He keeps him at bay with the dissonance in his own shield. Zazel now giving him one more hit, and that's going to be enough as Golden Glue picks up the kill. Very huge. That All right, EG. With this Baron buff, see if they can crack these inhibitor turrets. You just send your Shen, split pushing, use that uh, Baron buff. Deep teleport from Cloud9. Coming in, here comes Licorice. He's speeding up, Spellbinder down. They're going to be able to get the back line here. They know he's there, though. EG, Sven, Golden Glue, and the rest of the team turn. Fates call right on to Niski, and that's going to be a Cosmic Binding into the ball. What a combo coming in from Zazel and Bang to find that one. And now they're going to be pushing the bot side of the map. The duo of bot for evil geniuses coming up so big this game and being able to absorb pressure coming in from Cloud9, put it back onto the team, and then make sure it's something the rest of Evil Geniuses can use around the map. A little too greedy here as they go for the in-hit. They get it, but they lose Golden Glue. Sven's also down, and C9 is going to start biting back as Huni will also fall in the fight. Looks like the rest of the team can make it out safe here, but C9 has a lot of time to clear these waves and get back out of the map. We just saw him take just about all of Zazel's health there. Having to use a quick heal up on himself. Tempered Fate goes down onto the Drake. They're going to try to slow this one down. This is Soul, and it does not go to Cloud9 as Fenskaren gets another steal on the game for the team. And now they're going to try to back up a little bit here. Good kill coming from Collateral Damage over onto Licorice as now EG is trying to pressure Cloud9 out of this one. They lose Vulcan, and Cloud9 still looking for a bit of a fight here as Wildcard get thrown out. Niski drawing the blue card. Still good damage coming off of that one and a refresh on the resource. Ven with that range, with that damage, comes up big. There are super minions on their Nexus Towers right now, so EG, they are going to lose a couple more lives as Blabber goes in, uh, but they've got to get back to the Nexus. Hooney! Oh my gosh, Hooney's in the base. He can take a few more charges up shots, but at this point, he's going to have to drop the Nexus turret and then he gets dropped himself, calling all of Cloud9 back. The ultimate distraction this game and the ultimate force <laughs> that is not the bot lane. It has been Cooney by himself and still against three. They're thinking they can take him down with just shield. about 40 minutes into game one of this series, and they gotta do it. Hope we go to the full five. Shockwave comes out, trying to save him with whatever they can, whether it's Devour or Fate's Call. That's Vulcan almost going down. And that's collateral damage actually coming out of Svensk Garen. So a lot of ultimates being used here and committed to this fight. They want it fully, and they do commit onto Niski. They take him down, and it is going to be staying alive. Svensk Garen on the back side of the fight after that. Uh, top side to be getting some love. Svensk Garen heads on over to make sure that they can. But now that's an alt down. That is Blabber backing. That's a bit of free time they may get with the inhibitor, but damn. Damn, that's a lot of damage from Sven. One shot on his fence, Garen. was about a fifth of his HP. Oh, Golden Glue. Shockwave Big shock comes wave in. Oh, collateral damage almost takes down Niski. They are all being forced on C9 back to their fountain. This is going to be Licorice trying his last hand here. Throws all the cards in, and this may be it for C9 if they lose this fight, but it looks like they may have EG where they want him on the run. Yeah, Niski goes down, but it's going to be the backside that C9 has of Evil Geniuses chasing EG out of the base. This is for Soul too, as they chase down Huni Cloud9 just when they need it. They find the flank. They're able to get the kills onto EG, and that means Cloud Soul.
Looks like right now he doesn't have that focus just yet. Blabber is going to be the sole member attacking it as he takes a bit of damage, but he's going to be fine. Svenskaren picked off from the team here as Huni's going to give him Stand United, but it looks like EG is a bit too scattered for this fight, but are they able to win it that way in the chaos? The evil genius is thriving. Is that the way it's going to happen? Now getting pushed back here by Blabber versus two, and no, Cloud9 is able to rain on EG's parade. More kills coming through as we're going to see that is Bang coming back up and Bang going back down. Cloud9 attacking EG from three separate sides, and now they can chase them down. This should be C9 inside the base rim. Sven, he turns ghost, he doesn't have the damage. But One more Blabber the hits. Oh, he gets it, Blabber. Disgusting. Eagle Eye Blabber coming in with a safeguard Q. That's going to be the Nexus turrets for Cloud9. And what a game from both teams, Kobe. Cloud9 will, though, take game one of this series as they just give Huni a last what for. That one was very, very back and forth, Riv. <laughs> we end with them both at 82,000 gold.